Hello viewers, this is your host Anne Marcel and you're watching Yop Star from Tavia Network. Today I'm going to be discussing with you the issue of female genital mutilation, also known as, known as FGM. <laughs> FGM is one of the most prominent issues in Africa today, targeting girls like me and women even all over the world because we have people migrating and with globalization, FGM becomes a global issue. Now, for those of you out there who do not know what FGM is, FGM refers to the removal or cutting of the external female genital organ and it has no medical purposes whatsoever and no health benefits. So why cause pain and increase the risk of HIV AIDS, stillbirth, and even death for so many women? And according to UNICEF publication, 130 million girls and women, mostly not just in Africa, but in Asia and the Middle East, have experienced female genital mutilation. Does that sound right to you? It doesn't to me. Therefore, why is this practice done? First, it is mostly FGM come from old practices, old tradition, old belief that by reducing the woman's libido, she's less likely to cheat on the husband. The, the causes are also um, the causes also come from the belief that by practices FGM, the girl is turned into a woman. Many community leaders in countries like Mali or Egypt insist upon the consequences if those practices are not met. Now, worst of all, the medicalization of FGM, meaning health professional and health practitioner who have sworn to the Hippocratic Oath, which, is, which they have taken to not harm the life of the patient. Those people are contributing to the continuation of FGM. That is wrong. Doctors of all people shouldn't be doing this. They shouldn't even encourage this practice because it causes pain. Simply just that. And one more thing. Women, the rights of many girls and women are being broken. They have the right to fight against this because it is a practice that no longer needs to be simply practiced. We have gotten rid of human sacrifice. Why? Because it didn't bring any help to anybody. It didn't benefit our society at all. So FDM needs to go away. According to the journal, the African Urology Journal, Médecins Sans Frontières, also known as MSF, which stands for Med um, Doctors Without Borders, allowed its workers in 1999 to provide surgical equipment for FGM. Also, reports have surfaced in 2010 that the International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetric, also known as FIGO, may have supported some form of the practice. But although all these organizations may have good intention, it doesn't help FGM at all because uh, Old believers and practitioners are further encouraged to continue the practice. Now, we have the rid of human sacrifices, of course. Therefore, I have some suggestions for the abandonment of FGM. Those health professionals who know that FGM causes harm should advocate. They should be the strongest advocates against FGM. They should go up to people like legal experts. Um, politicians, and even parliamentarians, for them, pressure them to create community centers, raise awareness about the harmfulness of FGM to women. Women all over the world are at risk, and you need not be African, Asian, or Middle Eastern to understand that this is a risk all over the world right now. So many women are at risk of FGM, therefore, it should be abolished. So, you were watching Yop Star from Tayyat Network. And people, let's get out there and make it happen.